Hello, I'm Ron Covell. This is the third in a series of programs about building a roadster body. This time I'm making the doors. The same techniques I use to make these doors can be used on pretty much any car. I'm going to put holes in the inner door frame to create an interesting design. I'll start my design with the three small holes along the top edge of the door. I'll use two medium sized holes in the top corners, two large holes in the bottom corners, and a pattern of four small holes between them. So all of the holes are punched and flared. Pretty cool, huh? With the inner structure completed, the doors become very rigid indeed. It's hinging and latching beautifully. I've cut a blank of metal for the door skin, and I've cut it to be about an inch oversized all the way around the buck. So using the English wheel, I'm going to contour this panel until it takes on the shape described by the buck. Okay, I'm just about to the top edge. I'll pull this out and try it against the buck one more time. And honestly, it seems like the contour of the panel is matching the buck very, very well. So the bead is finished and I think it came out great. I'm using a smooth flat dolly and a hammer with a small face to finish this corner. So it's looking very good so far. It's taken a lot of time and care to complete the doors for this car, but the end product is more than worth it. As you can see, making doors is a pretty complicated project. Not only do they have to match the size and contour of the body, they need to hinge and latch properly and withstand years of slamming and abuse. I hope that each of you have learned some valuable tips here that will help you with your personal projects. So until next time, this is Ron Covell signing off.